Hello and welcome to the Film Vomit Podcast, an extension of the Vomit series of podcasts. Introducing first, it's the man who spends mo- most of his time indoors like the titular castle freak. It's Mac Taylor. Yes, mm-hmm. I am here and I am still indoors and I am off work for a couple of days. And so yeah. what, what a time to podcast. And with me today, as always, it's the man who was a little skeptical to go back to full moon. And I'm curious to see his takes. It's Cold Selby. How you doing today, mm. Cole? Uh, decent, I guess. A little decent. A little decent. So, Cole, what were your expectations heading into Castle Freak? And what, what did you get? What did you find? I was expecting less, less. than what I got. <laughs> um, just because just because of the movies I've watched from these people already. But I got a decent horror flick out of it, I guess. Yeah. This- a decent like, suspense thing. This was at a time when Full Moon was still trying with their movies. Yeah. Like yeah. by the time they made like Ginger Dead Man Evil Bong, it was like mid 2000s. This is like mi- literally mid 90s when they made it. Yeah. So, like, yeah. They, and they actually had an actual director make this movie. And, you know, there, there was a lot of uh, it, at least care and preparation to make an actual film. Yes. Not, not just slap something together for an hour and make some money on video release yeah yeah uh yeah yeah, i I was uh this this movie wasn't like overall i guess you know wasn't bad but yeah if it falls in the meh region like i I, also this if we'd have done this like right after the evil bong franchise it yeah i would have thought more of it but we did this after steak land yeah so like we've had a lot of fun the past few podcasts Mm -hmm. and so like and now we're here at castle freak and we're just like it's just like it's just like it's like hey here's some actual good movies to get get you back into the taste of things (laughs) and now watch one of their thing right like that's what i feel that's what i feel feel like i feel like in like i don't know being blindsided (laughs) or something like worldviews being shattered (laughs) well the only reason i had us do this is because they did remake castle freak uh last Mm -hmm. year and we're going to be watching that next yeah. week. So because of that, I was like, let's do the original. Yeah, I saw I saw that. Um, yeah, I saw that when I was looking for this one. Um, I don't know how I'll, I already don't know how I feel about that one just by looking at like the art. <laughs> so yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll see. We're, we're going to watch it next week. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see if they do better or worse than this one. So let's go ahead. Let's yeah. Dive right into Castle Freak and discuss how it went. So we start yes. out with this very very long opening of this woman like cutting some meat cutting some bread like this was like this was the the true struggle before sliced bread this is what (laughs) people went through every day and she's like (laughs) like her hands are shaking real bad and she's She's, like sawing she's having she's having such a hard time with this bread (laughs) well this woman's about to die but yeah she takes the food downstairs to this uh, this monster chain in the basement which she used her last bit of life force to yeah. beat with a whip yeah that's some dedication from this <laughs> old lady yeah, i'm gonna beat the ever-living shit out of you and here by the way some bread and pepperoni fuck <laughs> and then she just goes and dies and that's the opening of our movie and you're left like oh well we are what left is- with the uh, we are left with a screaming cat screaming for food too yeah. this poor cat <laughs> that's, yeah it's gonna it's gonna have a rough time later it is it will but yeah like yet yeah, like i like honestly like that that take i think she really just whooped so much ass that she just couldn't go on anymore she's like if I'm dying, I'm gonna use my last breath to beat your ass. <laughs> like, geez, and then crawl my crawl my ass in the bed and die. Yeah. <laughs> At least she died comfortably. Gosh. She, made, she made it to the bed. Then we meet our our main characters, John, mm-hmm. Susan, and Becky. Yep. Uh, Becky, who is recently blinded, mm-hmm. and John and Susan, who are married, but there there is some tension amongst the ranks. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they have inherited the castle because John's mother, or John, yeah, John's father and mother were, were like related to the Duchess who owned the castle. Yeah. So he is going to inherit it, and he wants to sell. 
He does not want to keep it because it's a fucking yeah. castle in Italy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, and the the housekeeper lady that comes in to talk to them, she's like, uh, I've arranged the rooms for you and Becky. And Susan's yeah. like, can you arrange another room for, for him? Like, <laughs> oh, shit. Like, what is yeah. happening in here? It's like, I don't want that one to be anywhere fucking near. You. It's like, wow. And then it cuts to the night. and John goes to Susan trying to get some action. Yeah. She's like, it's been, it's, it's, it's been nine months. And she's like, it's too soon. I can't forgive you. And you're like, for what? What did he do? Yeah. I don't know. But we're going to fucking find out because John mm-hmm. has a nightmare about that exact same fucking thing. Yep. So yep. he lost his job and got drunk and drove his kids and crashed, blinding Becky and killing his younger son, JJ. Yeah. Yeah. I think, uh, like, I think about this whole scene and technically like this, the game boy killed his son yeah the game boy killed him. <laughs> he would have like, been his belt if yeah, he wasn't I, but, the game boy yeah uh, like blame blame nintendo exactly <laughs> but i think about this scene and i think it actually shows off perfectly what show don't tell means mm-hmm. and like why did, how did they lose this how did they lose this over the over the years how did they lose this this capability well, well this make... movie wasn't made by Charles Band. It was just distributed yeah. by it. Stuart yeah. Gordon made this movie. That guy can make a movie. <laughs> so, Fucking... This is what happens when a competent person makes a full yeah. movie. Like It makes sense. It may mm. not be the most flashy thing in the world, but it makes fucking sense. <laughs> and that's all yeah, we've ever asked these movies. To. Yes. Yes. <laughs> like I have I was I, I will say this. I was never once like confused throughout this whole movie. Like, well, bait, like, according to plot, anyway, there was this one part where I was a little confused and we'll touch on it later. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, like, mo- overall, like, I wasn't like scratching my head, like, like saying, what the fuck's going on? Like, is competent yeah, a lot, like, throughout. W- when they have those problems, you're like, oh, I wonder what happened. Then you fucking see what happens. And, yeah. But through the text of a nightmare, and you're like, yeah. oh, well, yeah, I can see why she would be upset about that. Yeah. Although she is like very like she only has one emotion and that's being pissed off this whole movie. Yeah. Like she yeah. never really changes from that. But uh but again, it's a lower budget movie. I'll, I'll let it slide. Barbara Crampton is not a bad actress. This is just, you know, mm. this is the writing coming across here. Mm. Yeah. Uh so he wanders into the wine cellar just to fight his drinking demons. Yeah, all the all the wine, just all of like, doesn't he go down there because he hears weird sounds? Yeah, he hears a noise because the wine cellar is yeah. not too far from where the castle freak is, and he hears the yeah. crying. Then he, yeah, he, like he tr- he's trembling at this wine, and then he goes to dramatically smash it and ends up cutting himself like yeah. an idiot. Yeah, <laughs> just like the worst fucking. Like, he could have just, just put it back on the shelf and like exited the room. Like there's there's a couple of points in this movie where I feel like he's like trying to be like an action hero badass and then just completely goes like drops out from beneath him well yeah he just ends up looking like a fucking yeah. asshole 90 yeah. percent of the time or like like in this moment you're like what the fuck are you doing now there's glass all over the floor like what, yeah. are, what are you doing couldn't just put it back and this is fucking stone gosh <laughs> oh man it's easy to make fun of him yeah uh and then the housekeeper wanders in and makes herself a glass of wine yeah. and tells him the story about his father was with the Duchess and they, they had a child and then he left her for her younger sister in America and that's his parents. Mm-hmm. And uh, basically she says their son died but there's rumors that she, the Duchess, had murdered him out of shame and regret. Yeah. Uh, so we again, we get more set up to what this is. Yeah. Yeah, which like this, like this, like comes up, you know, several times in the movie. But it like comes it, up organically. Like, yeah, because he has questions about like mm-hmm. how you inherit a castle and things like that. Yeah, I mean, it's it's it is very strange to like try and like for that to happen to somebody. Exactly. You know? Uh, and so we see Becky kind of struggling with her blindness because yeah, she's yeah. a teenage girl who is now blind. That's terrible. Yeah, that, that sucks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so she goes with her dad to explore the castle. Ooh. And by explore, I mean she sits on a bed while he explores the castle. 
Yeah. Because they don't yeah. let her do jack shit in this uh, movie. No. Like, I would be pissed off if I was there. Like, yes, I'm blind, but I will figure shit out. Get away mm-hmm. from me. <laughs> uh, so he's like looking for jewelry to also sell. Yeah. And instead he finds the whip. The, oh, yes. Uh, and, you know, that questions mm-hmm. are asked because that's not mm-hmm. a normal thing to find under an old woman's Mm-mm. bed. No, that's uh, some freaky old lady shit. Well, it's not even like a sexy whip. It's yeah. Like oh, no. Yeah. It's it's a, it's a fucking it's death. It's a deadly. Yeah. It's a horrible whip. Uh, and Becky then wanders away because she hears scratching. She finds yeah. the cat mm-hmm. and inadvertently the castle freak, but she's blind. So, And I yeah. like that they use her blindness to kind of interact with the freak because she yeah. can't see. Yeah. Like, that's a like a, a way it's, it doesn't feel forced, but yeah. it sets up some of the suspense because she's in danger, but she doesn't know. Yeah. Like, I like how they actually use it realistically, too. Mm-hmm. Um, like this use of blindness realistically up. Uh, Because there are times where I feel like when, uh, like when like children are in movies, like the only reason why a child is in a movie is just so they can cause a problem (laughs) for like a plot thing to happen. Yeah, but like with like with her, it makes so much sense. Like with the shit, like with her blind, I I I just thought it was an amazing addition to the movie. Honestly, Mm. I like it. I like the take on it. Like I mean, that's not too much. Like absolutely amazing to this movie, but I did like this part. The story flows, and we'll give it that. Uh, yeah. So yeah, she falls and scrapes her knee, and she's like, "Whatever, cat, fuck you. I don't need you." Yeah. And she leaves, <laughs> and then the cat is then eaten by the castle freak. It is taken yeah. and eaten because mm-hmm. this is this. I've seen this director's other like big movie. Actually, the poster mm-hmm. is right over there on my wall, Reanimator. Uh, uh, and there's a cat kill scene in that. So I'm like, Stuart Gordon must hate cats because he yeah. always fucks them up in his movies. <laughs> uh. So he eats the cat and then like rips his fucking thumb off so he can get yeah. the shackles off. And I thought that was a very uh, tense moment. Yeah, it was it was it, it was a it was a little drawn out for my tastes. <laughs> um like oof. Cuz I like I oh god, I didn't like that at all. It was very graphic. I I appreciated yeah. the the attention to detail. It looked really good though. Because like, again, all the effects it, look in this good. This instead movie. of just him escaping a, a randomness, like he there's yeah, he gets out because he like fucking chews part of his hand off. Like it makes total yeah. sense. Again, this movie makes sense. It's great. Yeah. Uh, and then Becky and Susan argue over her handicap ability. She's like, you should have never wandered off alone. And she's like, this is my handicap. I must figure a way out of it. Yeah, you know, we had to have that little bit of dramatic tension. Yeah, but like it's like at the same time though, like you still can't see. Like, probably should not wander I, around. A don't, like, don't yeah, don't just wander off like randomly. Like, Especially when at we least don't, a, we don't know. This isn't a house. Yeah. This is a giant yeah. castle. You can get lost yeah. very quickly. You've been at there, been here for like a maximum of like a day, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> like, you don't know where, the, where anything's at. It's like, yeah, you can figure the shit out after you know what the like how the big the fucking is, place yeah. is a little bit. At least stay on the at least stay on the same floor. Go down and up and downstairs. Like, but I understand her being like, "Yeah, let, let me explore." But like, yeah, it, may, maybe explore. Like, oh, yeah. when, you know, when we're back to society and we're not in Italy where we I'm just, speak the language. I'm just gonna blame everyone in this situation. Exactly, everyone <laughs> fucked up. Everybody's fucking up today. So then they sit down to dinner, and the housekeeper is kind of complimenting the Becky on her on her attractiveness and talking about the Duchess, but they're interrupted. Because the freak finds a mirror and is not happy with what he sees. Mm -mm. And he shatters Mm -mm. the mirror, which interrupts the dinner. And they're like, huh, must have been the wood. Must have heated up and broken the mirror. I'm like, that's that's not how that shit works. Like, I've like I've seen like, you know, like mirrors can do mirrors can do that through like a severe temperature change. But that's not something that's like going to be naturally occurring down your fucking hallway. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Like and, and this is another thing I like how. You know, he's able to, you know, kind of kind of sneak around the freak, but it's still grounded. Like he's just kind of walking around and mm-hmm. just kind of well, missing they're in the them. castle. So yeah, they're in the castle. So, yeah, it's easy, easy for him to hide. And it does. I mean, he does show that he does know the layout like way better well, than anyone been, else. He's probably yeah, never he's, left there his entire life. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that's. Uh, cool. uh, but yeah, I just like how when he sees the broken mirror, he's like, well, 
must have been fucking temperature changed. And I'm like, yeah. you're not going to ask any questions whatsoever. Cause Becky's like, there's someone else in the castle. And they're like, nah, you're <laughs> just an idiot. There's no one else in here. <laughs> you're just, you're just a stupid blind person. Yeah. Fuck get, even get in see. your lane. <laughs> get in your lane. How do you know there's somebody here? You didn't see shit. I know you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> then in God. the middle of the night, uh, Becky is sleeping in the creek or uh, in the freak. Uh, gets real creepy with her real quick like, yeah like immediately upon seeing her and weird shit she hears him breathing and freaks out and they look around uh and john ends up finding uh the tomb of giorgio the boy who was supposedly died and he looks a lot like his dead son so he for some reason yeah thinks that jj is with them here which i don't really know what i understand because he's all gone through a loss and he's just trying to cope with it mm-hmm. but like this this felt a, this was the one thing where i was like this is just odd yeah i like like it doesn't go for, anywhere like for what for one i want to know why castle freak is so horny well i i mean I want to know why. Been locked in a dungeon his whole life. He's never, probably never even ejaculated. Then, then why? Then how? Then like, how would he have any sort of basis of like what he would like, what ter- would turn him on? Like he hasn't really seen anything. Like what? Well, like it, besides his mom, he's never seen another yeah, woman before. Yeah, so he's probably just super interested. Like it's just because we'll see later. Oh, he doesn't know what to do. Yeah, it's so, just like it's just kind of fucking. I don't know, like. Really, dog? Like, the first thing you do when you get out of fucking, like, imprisonment is try to go get some fucking... I mean, what do most prisoners do when they get out of jail? I guess. It's like, geez. Yeah, that end up... And I don't understand uh, why he thinks his dead son is, like, there's a ghost. Yeah, it's weird. Or something. And it really doesn't go anywhere. No. It Uh, it just kind of, like, makes makes him look look more like like a crazy guy. Yeah, exactly. So they call the police. They're like, yeah, we're not going to go search in your castle. That would take way too much time, even though we're yeah. cops in a very small village and have a lot of fucking time in our hands. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of just like gross police negligence in this entire film. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's And, and this cop is try, they try to kind of portray him as a hero in a way. And I'm like, no, he's a fucking asshole. Like yeah. throughout this movie, he just does like the wrong thing every single time. Like I refuse to accept him as someone i root for I, they're just not the only person i really truly root for in this movie is becky everyone else has a flaw of some sort. yeah 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 like but uh, becky's the only real one that i cared about exactly so then john and susan get into it and she's like he's like why are you punishing me forever and she's like because god didn't punish you yeah. you should have died and so- i mean like like i how can you ask like i mean you he, he, like you do know what you did right like how can you ask that question <laughs> you know the answer yeah and it's like again you can't expect her to be like ah oh, you killed our son that's yeah. that uh, i'm over it like has, it hasn't it's even only, been a year yeah, yet it's been nine right? months like jesus dude like and he's already like wanting some action with her too like yeah it's like come he's, on he is a he is he is a he is a strange guy and I don't, okay. I don't know he's about just, him. He comes off as real pathetic through a lot. Of yeah, he, he does. He's real pathetic. Like he's like, he like craves like attention and pity. So like it's, uh, he goes to the roof to contemplate suicide, but ends up turning to the bottle. So he goes to a bar and just aggressively does shots. Yep. And then whilst at the bar, he picks up a prostitute and he drunkenly like spills shit all over her and like, yeah barely makes it back to the to the castle yeah but she put up with so much shit dog she did she really wanted that check or that that yeah. money like she she yeah. worked for it like she didn't work with it in sex she worked with her just fucking just standing his ass yeah and having to fucking <laughs> carry him home essentially and then yeah. there, and she drinks a little wine and they have yeah. a very quick sexual session that the freak is watching yeah um uh, and so while he, he wonders, away, he pays her, and then he, he is knocked out by the freak, and the mm-hmm. freak uh, takes the prostitute to uh, try to sexually assault her. Again, we're going to see he's not mm-hmm. that great at it. He no. doesn't know what he's supposed to do. <laughs> um, 
And he's also now in a sheet. He has like yeah. shrouded himself. Which I guess is because like he doesn't like he doesn't want to look at himself. Yeah. Either. Yeah. Which again, understandable. Like he's mm-hmm. hideous. I wonder if that like saved on like, you know, like makeup and prosthetic stuff for the movie. Uh, you know, because they, they said the makeup took six hours to apply. So I bet like they only did like a little bit around his head and his yeah. body. And then like this was probably completely like undone. So you could put the the, yeah. the, the thing over it. That, it's like a clever, a yeah. real clever way to do it, too. Yeah, that is nice. I do. Like, I didn't think about that till you said yeah. it. I, I appreciate that if that was the case. <laughs> Mm -hmm. way to fucking get get the job done you know oh yeah uh so the police officer comes questioning about the prostitute Mm -hmm. and just straight up calls him out for the susan like well she was last year with you so yeah you guys should totally talk about this and i'm like again fuck you dude like you you don't have any evidence she's a Mm. prostitute yeah like and, and, and you're going to, I mean, again, I understand his connections to her later. Yes. Yeah. Still, like, he had, he had no business just to stroll up and just throw this all on the table. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, again, fuck this guy. Uh, so, basically, uh, Susan and John have another argument. Uh, and then down in, down in the cellar, the, the prostitute... Uh, Breaks a bottle, cuts Giorgio, who mm-hmm. then bites part of her titty off. Yep. Because I think he's a he yeah, he bite, he, he, he's, eating some, he's eating some titty, dude. And then he's, later he's like just eating her vagina. And it's like, he, does he think yep. that sex is to consume someone? Yeah, I mean, I mean he's taking that end to the next level, I guess. Yeah, like it's <laughs> uh it is because I, I was genuinely confused. I was like, what is the goal here? Eat, consume, consume. <laughs> so Susan Jesus. goes to leave because she's she's had enough of this shit. Mm-hmm. Becky's upset. She's like, We need to you know save him. And I'm like, Becky, this is not your responsibility. I know what you're yeah, for real. like. Your mom's right. You should definitely get out of there. <laughs> yeah, just dip. Just fucking dip. Like you can't save him from himself. Mm. Uh, and then John meets with the lawyer who's like, well, we found her handbag in your house, but if you oh, pay man. us money, we'll act like we didn't find it. And I'm like, uh, God and I, I like, I like how the whole time he believes that he actually did it. And he's just like, oh yeah, don't worry. There's no evidence or whatever. Like, it's fine. And then he gets the call. It's like, well, actually, um, uh, and let me take back that statement. There is evidence <laughs> now, but I can hide it for you for some extra money. Like, this guy's an absolute Chad of a, of a lawyer. <laughs> He's like, I believe you. Oh, what's that? There's evidence? Well, you know, there doesn't have to be evidence if you just raise my feet a little bit. Like, like, what a like that's Yeah, that, that, what, what a power play. Yeah. And, like, this is when, uh, and this is when the, uh, like, he was, like, explaining, like, his whole family lineage to the, yeah. um, like, so, that, that part, that was, like, a little, like, it was hard for me to follow a little bit. So, like, basically, what happened is uh uh john's father was with the duchess originally Mm -hmm. and they had giorgio but then his father left the duchess and ran off with her younger sister but since he never divorced the duchess they were never Mm -hmm. married so technically john is the bastard son Mm -hmm. of of the other duchess and his father okay which is why he had such a strained relationship with his father okay so that's what i got out of it so basically it's all fucked everything everything's fucked everything's fucked his father was fucked up he's fucked up his daughter's gonna end up fucked up because of the shit she goes through in this movie no one has an easy go at life i mean at at least at least see at least she didn't have to see any of it you know yeah that's true (laughs) yeah thank your dad for blinding you in a drunk car accident because this is fucked up like, see, you gotta look. You got you gotta look at the brighter side. Of you. Well, you know, well, don't you can't. don't say. It. You gotta hear the brighter things. You gotta, you know. <laughs> Oof! Oh Oof. God! There's no way out of this. Cool. No, there's not. Uh, so then the housekeeper finds the prostitute barely alive, but then she is brutally mm. beaten to death. Oh yeah, Grandma smacked down three thousand. Which is like, which is cr- like, I I like the uh, the uh, like like the effects and everything that they show off later yeah. too. 
like when they actually show us the uh the smashed in grandma head yeah and they actually used uh actual brain matter that's cool uh in that as well so you know that is a nice little attention yeah. to detail again yeah I, I was i was never i was never disappointed with like the like the effects in the movie yeah what what they had the budget to show they did a good job with mm-hmm. so john tries to regroup the fam even though now is not the time. yeah uh-uh. Uh, well, they try to leave, but the police are like, actually, we're going to need everyone to stay in the castle. Yeah. Which I understand this because yeah. there's, there's a sus- suspicion of murder. So, yeah, yeah. you can't leave. I, like, this is the only thing the cops do in this movie that I'm like, yep, that, okay, that makes yeah. sense. Uh, um, so John's like, no, wait, Giorgio is still alive. He's mm-hmm. in the castle. And they're like, you're a fucking crazy man. Yeah, I mean, any, I feel like anyone would see that, even like, even though he shows like an empty baby coffin. Like, yeah, he's like, there's just rocks in here. And it's like, yeah. OK, maybe like, they buried him somewhere else, but had that as like, a, you know, as a memorial thing. Yeah. I mean, come on, man. Like, yeah, he really does look like a fucking but crazy guy. But they still right don't now. search the castle. No. Like they find actual bodies. Yeah. And don't search the castle. And, and I'm like, and this, that is your job to secure this, the crime yeah. scene. Yeah, you gotta secure it, then you gotta find it. And thing is, it would be extremely easy to prove his innocence because like there's bite marks, obviously. That's not they're not gonna well, match and his and when you do the autopsy, you'll see that she died while he was with the lawyer. Yeah, you know, at the station, the times went like that. Th- there's like there's a lot of shit that, like, there's like a they, lot of they could have they could have done more. They could have done more. Uh, so yeah, they find the bodies, and the lawyer then just starts choking him because that's his yeah. sister dead. Yeah, uh, which again, understandable. There can't can't mm-hmm. uh, can't be mad at that. Uh, so they take John in for interrogation. Don't search the castle, and make Susan and Becky stay in the room. Yeah. Uh, and then they're like, can we just get some water? Which is going to end up killing two cops because one cop <laughs> goes to get water and is noosed yeah. uh, to death. Oh, and uh, th- this this particular off- officer actually looks like uh, David Arquette to me. Oh, really? I, did, I didn't look into yeah. that, that closely. Yeah, yeah he, he kind of looks like him to me a little bit. Uh, and then meanwhile, John's trying to t- tell the Giorgio story and the cop's like, mm-hmm. no. But I'm like, Listen, okay, because they say that this cop had a baby with the prostitute. That's why he's so yeah. intent on this. But, like, because he has a connection to the victim, he shouldn't be in charge of this case because he has well, a personal vendetta. I think it's because, uh, like, it's not public that it's uh, it, that is because even everyone knows it. But still, I don't think it's public. Every, but it seems like everyone in the town mm-hmm. knows. So yeah. he should not be in charge of this case because he has uh, a connection to the victim. That's not... The- like, like, uh, that's not how police yeah, business yeah. works. Like, I, f- I feel like it just kind of shows that, you know, the police do obviously just do what they want. Don't give a fuck because he yeah. just like straight cr- like cracks him across the dome with like, you know, the nightstick. Yeah, because he's like, why did you kill her? He's like, I didn't kill her. I just fucked her. And he hits him. Like, she was a prostitute. Everyone, like even the lawyer did. Exactly. Like, like you gotta go crack the lawyer now, dude. Like, he's, uh, <laughs> Jesus. So then when no water is brought, she tells the other cop, can you go get us some water? And then he mm-hmm. has his face eaten by the castle mm-hmm. freaks. I'm like, man, her yep. thirst is murdering these guys. <laughs> you really had to just have some fucking water, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, come on now. Uh, so Susan then leaves Becky alone to get some water. And is <laughs> this KO'd, water. It is KO'd by the castle freak. Yeah. This, this, this water has nearly, dis- nearly killed three to three four people. people. Yeah. And then... Becky takes her shirt off to go to bed and so yeah. she has just in a bra and then the freak comes in and tries to sexually assault her again. Mm-hmm. Uh, Susan then goes to the rescue, gets a knife, right, right, ready to throw down yeah. for her daughter. Uh, John, after being hit by the cop and the other cops mm-hmm. take him out, he knocks out a cop and he goes out an open window, which is right outside the yeah. room that he wasn't locked in. And I'm like, this yeah. is not how you interrogate someone. And, and when he was Climbing out the window, that baton was straight fucking bent. Too. Yeah, you can tell it wasn't real. real like, like that shit was funny. But also, who just leaves? A, it's raining. Why is a window yeah. open? Yeah, like, well, why would they leave him alone in the first place? It also true. Like but, they're just kind of dumb. 
Yeah, there was a, there was a lot of just bad fuck ups. Like, I think this movie just wouldn't work if the cops were competent. Exactly, they they needed him to be able to escape. But yeah. Still, it's like, come on now, you you expect me to root for this cop? Like, come on, for now. real. Uh, the freak then chains Becky and figures out finally that she's blind because he's trying to say mm-hmm. like, this picture is me. I'm the yeah. picture, and then he's like, oh, you're yeah. blind. So he takes off his shroud because he's like, hey, you won't be freaked out by my appearance. Yeah. Uh, I mean, but- there's more to be freaked out by. Than- yeah, because he's trying to sexually assault her. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and so he, he she tries to like nibble on her neck a little bit. And then Susan comes in and was like, take me. Yeah. And, and as he comes at her, she stabs him in the back. Mm-hmm. And they are chased through the rain into the bedroom where he finds the mm-hmm. whip. And yeah. it goes crazy, just hitting the bed and the walls yeah, he's, and the windows. He's, sma- he's, he's just smacking everything. He's smacking all the shit up. Which I understand why that would trigger him because he's been doing yeah. that his whole life. Yeah, but he, he's like just go, starts going ape shit over everything with that thing. So then they're chased onto the roof where John mm-hmm. shows up to the rescue. Mm-hmm. And, and they fight. There's a struggle. And then mm-hmm. they're both yeeted off the castle yes. to their deaths. Yeah, there's some there's some great moments. There's some great uh, moments from uh from John, who uh, who looks looks back at his family. Uh, you know, you know, this is like his redemption. Yeah, he's looking back. He's like, "I'll save you." And then he goes up, gets like one good hit in, that gets beaten the shit out of. He he does, he, he does get one good ball kick in. He does. Yeah, because the exposed <laughs> dick of the yeah. freak was an easy target. And yeah, <laughs> then he just grabs his chain and pulls him off the building. Yep. They're both. Uh, John gets says his goodbyes. The freak mm-hmm. just instantly dies. Yeah, and I think he, didn't he still have like the knife in his back too? Uh, I don't know. They ripped that shit out. That. Uh, yeah. so then Susan, like they, they, we end at the funeral of John, mm-hmm. and Susan just looks at the cop with his daughter, and then it just ends. What? Like that's it? Like the cop, like the cop with the, I don't understand that. Why is this standing there with his daughter? Why, 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 why is he like being focused on? Why did you bring your daughter to a funeral of a guy she never knew? Yeah. Uh, very odd. Of a, of, I, of a I, dude I guess, you probably don't like who just fucking beat you, cracked you over the noggin with a they, baton. They, they might have buried the prostitute the same day. So like they might have been. Yeah, funeral, maybe. Maybe. But still, oh. it, was a, it was a weird like just look at the yeah. end. I'm like, what? What was that? So uh, that was Castle Freak. Mm, great now we get into the the fun facts section uh this movie holds a six out of ten on all platforms which is about mm. what i would give it as well uh like it, it, it was a fine movie but like it wasn't anything super I, I, you don't need to like watch this again and again yeah i was kind of hoping for like actually like more like kills and stuff like it, there was a lot more slow moments than i thought there was going to be well, they were trying to build suspense, but some of it fell flat. Yeah. Like, I, I, I felt like I was waiting for, like, like I felt like I was in the buildup before, you know, the wave of, like, you know, kills and stuff. I thought, like, I felt like I was in that for, like, the entire time, and I just wasn't getting this release or whatever. Uh, yeah, the Castle Freak kills four people yeah. and a cat. Yeah. Uh. So the fun facts, uh, this castle is actually Charles Band's inherited family castle. Oh. So uh, he's actually shot like a fuck ton of movies in this because why wouldn't you? Because he yeah. inherited a castle, like that makes total sense. Oh, yeah. But this is one of the more notable films shot in it because it's the one that makes one of the most sense. To, it's it's yeah. a castle freak, so you have to have a castle and a freak. Like it's mm-hmm. how that works. Uh, also, they didn't really know the tone of the movie till the day before shoot. Like the cast and crew were like, what do you think this movie should be tone wise? And they're like, oh, I think maybe we should do this. And they're like, you know what? Maybe maybe we will do that. That, that, that may be all right. Mm. <laughs> Actually, mm. the, the whole idea for this movie, uh, Stuart Gordon was talking to Charles Band, and they had a poster for this movie called Castle Freak, but they didn't have a movie for it. And he's like, can I do that movie? And Charles <laughs> Band's like, only if there's a castle and a freak in it. And he's like, oh, wow. That. That's, so that's great. That was the conception of this film. Talked about the mm. brain matter. Also, the day after filming, Band had a family reunion there, so they had to clean all the blood off very fast before the family reunion. <laughs> That's great. 
Uh, the, free, the freak prosthetics took six hours to apply. Uh, the film was blessed by the Vatican in Rome because they thought it would have negative effects on the viewers if it wasn't. The, so this film has a distinction of being blessed by the Pope. That's some marketing material. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and it's also the first full moon independent film because they had released through Paramount before this, mm. this point. So this was one of their first, like, only they had a hand in releasing and distributing. Uh, and it was supposed to release Halloween 94, but got pushed to November 95. Dang. Uh, and also uh, Jonathan Fuller, who played the titular Castle Freak, lost a bunch of weight to portray the freak because he needed to look, you know, starved. Mm. So good on him for, for dealing yeah. with all the makeup and losing the weight. This is also yeah. the third Stuart Gordon directed film that Barbara Crampton showed some sort of cleavage in. Mm. Uh, this is the least, though. You only see like one nipple, whereas like the other two movies she's in, like she's full on naked. Yeah. She was actually meant to be fully naked to lure the freak in, but the castle was cold at night, and they uh, opted to just kind of just do a little flash because it, you know, her mm. being naked would have probably been really bad on her health. Yeah. Then we go to the familiar faces section. The director, Stuart Gordon, has also done the film's reanimator, which, again, I have the poster right over there. Uh, From Beyond and Dolls are his notable works. Jeffrey Combs, the man who played John, has been in Reanimator, which is also on the wall. Uh, From Beyond, Cellar Dweller, The Giver, Trancers 2, I Still Know What You Did Last Summer, House on Haunted Hill, Shark Man, Abominable, Justice League Unlimited. He voiced Ratchet in Transformers Prime and The Rat King in the 2012 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, just to name a few of his credits. That's dope. Yeah, the man is a beast. And Susan was played by Barbara Crampton, who was also in Reanimator with Jeffrey Combs and Stuart Gordon, was also in From Beyond with Jeffrey Combs and Stuart Gordon. She was in Chopping Mall, Transfers 2, Your Next, Lords of Salem, and Puppet Master, The Littlest Reich. So they both have mm. a deep horror background. Okay. That's the only familiar faces. Everyone else, like the mm -hmm. girl played Rebecca. This was one of her only uh, movies. Mm. She only been in one other thing that I'd never heard mm. of, so... Okay. So, Cole, uh, final thoughts on Castle Freak before we put at least this version of it to bed. Uh, I mean, if it's already playing, don't like, like, you know, you can sit and watch it, but I wouldn't like pick it out. I wouldn't hand, I would not hand pick this out. This isn't a must see. No. Like, if you've already seen everything, watch it. Um, I mean, on the Shutter Library, it's yeah. definitely not the one of the things you should flock to. But no. uh, if you like kind of low budget, schlocky kind of films, it, it's it's yeah. in there. Like I said, <laughs> six out of ten, I'll I'll, I'll yeah. give it. Yeah, I mean that that's like that's pretty fair. I give it a six. So that's going to end our coverage on Castle Freak ninety five. Stay tuned next week where we will be discussing Castle Freak twenty twenty. Is it worse? Is it better? We will find out. So until then, stay safe and stay nerdy.